Welcome back to the Fit Curls, lovelies. Wow, has it really been that long? I've missed you guys so much. Just kidding, it's been like three days. So, the last time I saw you, I was in the salon with you getting this fresh new color done on my hair. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I am eternally grateful to Michelle and Studio B for making my hair color always just the most amazing and pleasant process possible. When you have to spend hours upon hours at a salon, you wanna make sure that that's somewhere that you feel comfortable. And Studio B is practically my second home at this stage. You know, for like four hours at a time, a couple of days a year whenever I have to get my color touched up. But still, every time I see you guys, you make it feel like home. So thank you so much to Studio B and always to my love, Michelle, for taking such good care of me and my hair. So you've just gotten your hair colored. Now what? If this is your first time having your hair colored in the salon, welcome to the club. Now you have a whole different chemical and hair care regimen to keep up with. Yay! This is what we do for beauty, guys. This is what we do. Ideally, before you ever went into the salon, you prepped your hair. Now, I'm not sure if you guys could tell in the video, but I did not go in with my hair fully styled like this. I put my hair in two braids the day before when it was still damp. A protective style, something that's detangled and it's gonna be easy for your colorist to kind of sort through as she or he is working on your hair is going to be your best option for preserving the health of your curls and making sure that you don't wind up with excess breakage. I also used uh, this lovely thing. I've talked to you guys about this before in my dealing with damage video, so this should be nothing new, but I love this protein treatment by Shea Moisture because it's also pretty moisturizing. Get it? It's in the name, Shea Moisture, okay. So I did that after I conditioned and detangled my hair to make sure that I got maximum moisture and protein into my hair before any chemical processing was done to it. Now, any processing we do, be that heat or chemical is going to alter and start to denature the proteins in our hair as well as kind of strip and break them down. So replenishing or almost pre-plenishing with a protein treatment can make a really big difference in making sure that your hair get, sustains as little damage as possible during all of that chemical treatment. It's not a bad plan to do that afterwards as well. Now, if you are protein sensitive, if your hair is very protein sensitive, I recommend, first of all, talking to your colorist about what your best options are. They're going to know a little bit about protein sensitive hair and see if they can kind of point you in the right direction to make sure that you don't wind up with any stiffness, dryness, breakage, irritation all that jazz that we wanna stay away from. I would highly recommend asking your colorist to do a bond building treatment on your hair while you're in the sink, hair's in the bowl, getting rinsed out, getting shampooed, getting conditioned, might as well do a bond building treatment. As we also talked about in my Dealing with Damage video, so if you haven't watched it, you really should, it's linked in the description. A bond builder, really just kind of reintroduces the chemical bonds that get denatured between the amino acids in our hair that build up its structure. So it's all about maintaining the structure of the proteins in our hair to make sure that the hair strand itself doesn't break down. Olaplex is a really good brand to look into. There are some treatments that your salon will do in-house, so definitely ask about getting an Olaplex treatment as part of your color service. And for additional maintenance and sealing at home, I highly recommend this duo by Fanola. Let's see if we can white balance here. There we go. So we've got the FiberFix Shampoo and the FiberFix Bond Connector Number Two. This is such an excellent duo to really treat your hair after it gets bleached. This is specifically formulated for lightened hair. So if y'all go blonde, the way that I do. This is a really good solution for you guys to do on a regular basis at home to kind of keep and maintain the health of your hair. Now, bleach is not the only thing that was done to your head, right? As we saw for me, there were three separate treatments. We had the lightening for the highlights. We had a base breaker all over, which lightened the entire remainder of my hair a little bit without ammonia, because Michelle's the bomb. And also a toner toner 
make sure that our hair doesn't look brassy because brassy blonde looks anything but natural. So a great way to maintain the gorgeous look of your blonde from appointment to appointment to, you know, put off getting that color done for as long as possible. Marble stuff. Once again, from Fanola, this is their vegan no yellow shampoo and mask. Come on, white balance, figure it out. There we go. So these are hyper pigmented purple products. And the reason that they keep the brass out of blonde is because the opposite color from yellow on the color wheel is purple. So that's gonna neutralize all of that crazy yellow out of your hair and leave it in its beautiful, essential blonde self. Beyond that, definitely make sure that whatever shampoo and conditioner you are using is not only color safe, but has color protecting properties. For that, I cannot recommend anything more highly than my absolute day one love function of beauty. Once again, I'm gonna link their hair quiz down below so you guys can find and make your own custom blend through Function of Beauty for yourself. This is not sponsored by any of these companies, by the way. I've just found that this stuff is what works for me and I wanna make sure that I am sharing all of my personal favorites with you guys so you guys can get the best results possible. So definitely check out Function of Beauty, check out Finola, go through their lines. That Shea Moisture Protein Treatment is an absolute amazing treatment. And also make sure that you are deep conditioning your hair on a regular basis. Function of Beauty has a customizable mask that can be added to your subscription service. And another one of my favorites here, which I mentioned in my Dealing With Damage video, you guys really need to watch that video, is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This sucker is super moisturizing. It's not overly heavy on the protein. It really emphasizes moisture and that macadamia oil in there. It smells like heaven. So this is a great solution as a deep conditioner as well. After all of that trauma, your hair is going to want protein and moisture above all. So just listen to what your hair is telling you, what needs balancing out more, and let it happen. Make it happen. As you also may have noticed, during my trip to the salon, I styled my own hair and I left it curly. Reason being, you just had all of this alteration done to the shaft and strand of your hair. Do you really want to add a ton of heat styling to that? No! All that's going to do is continue to break down the cuticle of your hair and make it that much harder to get your curl pattern back. So you may notice a little bit of loosening depending on the harshness of the products that are used on your hair, but best thing to do is style it naturally maintain as many of those oils and proteins in your hair as possible without further denaturing them with heat. Best advice that I can give, as curly girls, we need to embrace our curls, no matter how tempting it is to get that post color blowout. So there you have it. Any further questions or comments, maybe something that you do that works really well for you after or even before a color service, drop it in the comments down below. I always love hearing any tips and tricks that you guys may have that I might not know about yet. If you've tried any of my recommendations, let me know how they work for you. As always, I am here to serve and I just want to make sure that your hair is as healthy and beautiful as possible. Before you leave, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, which I really hope you did. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell once you do to make sure that you don't miss any bit of content that we have coming your way from the Fit Curls soon. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you next time on the Fit Curls. Bye.